This is the um, clip on microphone, so ask your subject to clip this on his shirt. So when they clip on the microphone, make sure that it is facing outwards and towards their voice. Three. Now plug this microphone into the transmitter. You know that this is a transmitter because it says mic line on it. And then just twist it in. Now, how do you set the channel? So you open the transmitter, you press set right here, and then scroll down to see the menu to find frequency preset, and press set, and to make sure that um, your channel are the same on your receiver and your transmitter. Once you have sound on your receiver, you can plug in this into your receiver. And the other end plugs into the zoom, and this is an XLR cable. Or you could plug in the mini cable into the Zoom. This is a Rode shotgun microphone. So to use a Rode shotgun mic, you can either hold it towards the interview subject, or you could hold it above your interview subject on a boom. So you want to make sure that there's a fresh battery in there. So like the Sennheiser, you can either use an XLR or a mini cable to plug it into the Zoom. Now for the Zoom recorder, make sure you have fresh batteries and then you can turn it on. Before you start, you want to make sure that there is enough space on your Zoom. So go to menu, SD card, Format, and yes. On your Zoom, there are three buttons lighting up. Mic, one, and two. One and two are the XLR input, and the mic is a mini. Change the Zoom into the right input by clicking on it, and then press record. Once you press the record button, you'll see the red light flashing. It allows you to see what your sound levels are but it doesn't actually start recording until you press the record button again. If the sound levels are too high or too low, you can change it by pressing the buttons on the side. To stop recording, press the square button. You can press start to play it back or forwards and backwards to look through the files. Once you're done recording, you can either get the SD card out and use a card reader or you can use a USB cord and plug it into your computer. Congratulations, now you know how to use a Zoom recorders and microphones. This is Tech Support with Katie.